Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great today i'm going to explain you practice now one of of chapter 13 and the name of the chapter is perimeter and area of plane figures or as just before starting the lecture i would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject then you can subscribe the channel practice now one is express part a is 16 meter square in centimeter square and 357 centimeter square in meter square so let's start the lecture or right, students so Part A is we have to convert sixteen express sixteen meters square in centimeter square. So first you have to understand that one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. One meter is equal to hundred centimeter. So it's meter square. So I will write down one meter square and one meter square is equal to hundred multiplied by hundred centimeter square. So one meter square will be equal to ten thousand centimeters. Okay, you have to remember that one meter square is equal to ten thousand centimeters square. So to con convert meter square into centimeter square, you have to multiply sixteen with ten thousand. So when you multiply sixteen with ten thousand, so you will get one sixty thousand. So one sixty thousand centimeter square is your required answer. All right. Now part B is that you have to convert and you have to express three fifty seven centimeter square in meter square. Students, as I have told you that one meter square is equal to ten thousand centimeter square. Students, remember that whenever you convert meter square into centimeter square, so you have to multiply with ten thousand. But if you convert centimeter square in meter square, then you have to divide. So you will divide three fifty seven with ten thousand. Okay, G. So what you will get when you will divide it, you will get. You can use the calculator, or you can use the other way. The other way is ten thousand zero zero zero. How many zeros? Four zeros, and then one. On one, just put decimal. This number is left right zero over here. And you know that always put zero before the decimal. So your answer would be zero point zero three five seven. And when you will divide three fifty seven with ten thousand, you will get zero point zero three five seven. You can divide with the help of the calculator, and you can divide like this. So this is your answer zero point zero three five seven meters. Here is your required answer. Okay, so I hope that practice now one is clear to you. Now let's come to practice now two. Okay, students. Practice now. Two is the perimeter. Okay, question number one is the perimeter of a square field is sixty-four meter. If the field is surrounded by a running path of width three point five meter, find the area of the path. And question number two is in the figure A B is equal to twenty-five meter, A D is equal to seventeen meter, D P is equal to eight meter, A Q is equal to five meter, B R is equal to fourteen meter, and B S is equal to three meter. Find the area of the shaded region. So here, let's go to the question. Okay, students, and practice now. To first, understand the question. They are saying that there is a square field. Square field means that all sides are equal. There is a square field, and its perimeter has been told. And they are saying that. Uh, the perimeter of the square field is sixty-four meter. If the field is surrounded by a running path of width three point five meter, find the area of the path. Okay, and they are also saying that the field is surrounded by it's surrounded by a path. Okay, it's surrounded by a path. This is the path, and it, its width width has been told, and the width of the path is. Three point five. Students, remember that as this is the square, so length and width will be the same. Here it's also three point five meter. Okay, ji. Now what we need to do is we have to find out the area of the path. Basically, we have to. This is the whole. Uh, this is uh, this is the field, and the field is surrounded by the path. We just have to find out the area of this path. Okay, ji. Now let's come to the question. The perimeter is given. First, we have to find out the length. And you know that the perimeter of the square, the formula to find out the perimeter of the square is four. Students, basically, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the 
some of out some of lengths of outer boundary. So there are four boundaries: one, two, three, four. So you will add up all the lengths. And as this is the square, so all sides will be equal. And the perimeter is given in which is sixty four. Okay, I'm again telling you the perimeter is the perimeter. Basically, perimeter is the outer boundary of any shape. Is the sum of the outer boundary of any shape. And I'll let me tell you, there are four sides of this square, so I have written four L. And L, why I have written four L? Because all sides are equal. It's all sides are equal because it's a square. So sixty-four is equal to four L. We have to find out the length. So this four is multiplied with L. When we come to this side, it will divide. Four ones are four. Four six are twenty-four. So your length is sixteen meter. Okay, so we know the length. Now we can find out the area. The formula to find out the area of square is area of square is L square. Why L square? Because all sides are equal. So sixteen square. So what you will get? Okay, ji. When you will take the square of sixteen, you will get two fifty six. So two fifty six meter square is the required area of this square field. So that's why we have found the area. Basically, we need to find out the area of this path. We have to find out the area of this path. So we can find out the area of this path if we subtract the area of the field from this whole figure. Okay, if we subtract the area of this field, this is basically the field. We subtract the area of the field from this whole, then we can find out the area of the path. Now we have found the area of the field. Now we'll find out the area of this whole figure. So for that we need to find out the total length. Okay, I'm going to erase it. Just remember the area length that it is sixteen meter and the area of square which is two fifty six. Okay, so now we have to find out the total length. So total length is total length of whole figure. So total length of whole figure is, you know that the length of this this square field is sixteen. So we will just add length and breadth of this this part. Then we will get the total length of this whole figure. Okay, we will add this length and breadth. So student, so students, the length of this whole figure is twenty three meter. If we know the length of this whole figure, then we can find out the area of this whole figure. As this is the square, so the formula is L square. So area of whole figure means its path is included in the field area. So the formula is L square. We have found the length which is twenty three. So I will take the square of twenty three. When I will take the square of twenty three. I will get five twenty nine. So five twenty nine meter square is the area of the whole figure. So just to find out the area of the path, you have to subtract the area of the field from this total area. Okay, so just to find out the area of the path, we subtract the area of field from the total area. So total area means the area of the whole figure, and which is five twenty nine. And we have found the area of the field, which is two fifty six. So when you will subtract the area of the field from the total area, you will get the area of the path, which is two seventy three meters square. So two seventy three meters square is the area of the path. Augustus, what we did uh, is basically we have found the area of the field. In the very first step, we have found the area of the field. Then the second step, we have found the total area. And to find out the total area, first we found the total length. And what was the total length? Length of the field was sixteen, and we added the eight length of length and width of that path, and then we got the total length. And by using to that total length, we have found the area, total area of the figure, which was five twenty nine. Then add that to find out the area of the path. We subtracted the area of field from the total area, and we got two seventy three meters here. I hope that part one is clear to you. Now let's come to question number two of practice now two. Okay, so first question number two uh, is in the figure AB is equal to twenty five meter, AD is equal to seventeen meter, DB is equal to eight meter, AK is equal to five meter. 
dr is equal to 14 meter and ds is equal to 3 meter find the area of the shaded region so what's the shaded region as you can see that this is the shaded region we have to find out the area of the shaded region so as you can see this whole figure is a rectangle and these four parts which are unshaded these are the triangles so if we subtract the area of these four triangles from this whole rectangle we will get the area of the shaded region so what we need to do is we have to subtract the area of these four triangles from the area of this rectangle so for that you have to find out the area of the rectangle first we'll find out the area of the rectangle so find out area of a rectangle so the formula is length multiplied by breadth length is given which is 25 and breadth is given which is 17 meter so 25 multiplied by 17 this is length and this is width so just remember that length is always greater than breadth okay in a rectangle length is always greater than breadth so now we multiply 25 with 17 so you will get 425 so 425 meter square is the area of this whole rectangle okay we have found it now let's come to the triangles because we have to subtract the area of the triangles from this area of the rectangle then we will get the area of the shaded region what i will do is i'm finding out the values and i'll write down the values at the side okay so so, so that we can see that 425 meters here Okay, so we have found the area of the rectangle which is 425 meters square. Now we are going to find out the area of triangles. We can see this triangle and this triangle is ARQ. So I'm going to find out the area of this triangle which is ARQ. Can you see this triangle? ARQ. So I'm going to find out the area of this triangle. You know that the formula to find out the area of the triangle is half base multiplied by height. So half what is base okay to find out the base students this is the base from a to r is the base as you can see that from a to b the length of a b is 25 the length of a b is 25 and from here you can see that and you can see that the length from r to b is 14 meter to find out this length okay students to find out this length from a to r we can subtract this 14 from this total length and we will get the length of AR. So what I am going to do is, I am going to subtract this length which is from R to B is 14. If I am subtracting this length from this total length, I will get the length of AR. So I am going to subtract, so what will be the base? Base is AR, so I can get AR by subtracting 14 from the total length which is 25. Okay, so what is the base? Base is AR and I can find out AR by subtracting this 14 from this total length and I will get this length which is AR. So 25 minus 14 is the base or what is the height? Height is given which is 5. So I will write down 5 as it is. So half multiplied by 25 minus 14 will be equal to 11 multiplied by 5. So 11 5 is a 55. So 55 divided by 2 will be equal to 27.5. So 27.5 meter square is the area of this triangle which is ARQ. Okay, so I'm going to write down area of triangle ARQ. So area of triangle ARQ is equal to 27.5 meter. Now I'm going to find out the area of this triangle which is RBS. Now I'm going to find out the area of this triangle which is RBS. Formula is same half base multiplied by height. I will write on half as it is. Now what's base? Base is given which is 14 and height is also given which is 3. So multiply by 14, multiply by 3. Okay, so 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 14 and 7 3s are 21. So 21 meter square is the area of this triangle which is RBS. Okay. So I will write down area of triangle RBS is equal to 21 meter square. Okay. So now we are going to find out the area of the third triangle which is as you can see that which is PCS. PCS. 
Now area of triangle P C S formula is half base multiplied by height. So I will write down half as it is. Now what's base? Okay, students, you can see that this is base. So I can find out this base. You know that the length from A to B is 25. It means that the length from D to C is also 25. This whole length is also 25. As you know that in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So if this is 25, this is also 25. So to get this length from P to C, if I'm subtracting this length from the total length, I will get the length of P, C. So I'm subtracting A from 25 to get the length of P, C, which is the base of this triangle. So base is 25 minus 8. Now what is height? Okay, so this is the height. Now this whole length is 17. As you know that in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. It means that this whole length is also 17. So if I'm subtracting this 3 from 17, I will get this area from C to S. So this is whole area from B to C is 17. If I'm subtracting B as which is 3, if I'm subtracting this 3 from this to seven, the total 17, I will get the length of C S, which is the height. So I'm subtracting 3 from 7, which is the height. Now I'll solve it. Half multiply by 25 minus 8 will be equal to 17. And 17 minus 3 will be equal to 40. 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 14. And 17 7s are 119. So 119 meter square is the required area of PCS. Okay, so now we are going to find out the area of this fourth triangle, which is uh, triangle PDQ. P D and Q. So formula is same half base multiplied by height. As you can see that this is the base and this uh, this is the base and this is the height. So what is the base? Base is basically 8. So I would write down 8. And what is the height? So this we need this height from this to this which is DQ. And you know that this whole length is from A to B is 17. And from A to Q is 5. So if I'm subtracting from 5 this 5 this length from this whole length if I'm subtracting this length from this whole length, I will get this length, which is DQ. So I'm going to subtract 5 from 70 to get the length of DQ, which is the height. So 17 minus 5. Now I'm going to solve it. 2 1s are 2 to 4s are 8. So 4 multiplied by 17 minus 5 will be equal to 12. 12 multiplied by 4 will be equal to 48. So 48 meters square is the area of PDQ. So area of triangle PDQ is equal to 48 meters square. Now I'm going to find out the area of the shaded region. So students so to find out the area of the shaded region, what you need to do is you have to subtract area of all triangles from this area of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is 425. So you will subtract all areas areas of triangles from this the area of the rectangle and you will get the area of the shaded region so you will subtract 27.5 you will subtract 21 you will subtract 119 you will subtract 48 so what you will get you will get okay to 425 minus 27.5 minus 21 minus 119 minus 48 so you will get 209, 209 whole 1 over 2 meter square is the required area of the shaded region. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these things because when you will do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.